Aziz invests $8,000 at an annual interest rate of 1%. How much simple interest will he have earned after five years? Okay, the key word here is simple interest. Okay, so this is different from compound interest, and we'll talk about compound interest later on in the course. Simple interest is calculated using a formula I equals P R T. That's P times R times T. So let's identify the parts of this formula. I is equal to the amount of interest earned. It's the amount of interest earned. Okay. P refers to something called the principal. Okay, so what is the principal? The principal is uh, the uh, amount invested. Um, R is our rate, but here this is something very, very, very important. Here's our rate. This is our rate, uh, our annual rate, first of all. This is the annual rate, okay, and as a decimal number. This is really, really, really important because most students, when they try to solve these problems, the biggest mistake they make is they put in the rate. So in our case up here, we have a rate of 1%. They put that in as 1 rather than as the decimal number 0 0.01, and they wind up getting an answer that's two decimal places off. And lastly, we have T, and T refers to time. And time in this formula, because we're dealing with annual rates, is always in years. Sometimes you'll have problems that aren't in years, and we'll talk about, we'll do one of those in another video. Okay, so this is time in years. Okay, so let's go back to our question. What do we have? What we have to do is every single type of question like this, we want to identify the parts of the question. So Aziz invests $8,000. So what is $8,000? We have $8,000 right here. $8,000 is the principal. That is the amount invested. principal. Okay, and an annual interest rate of 1%. So I could say that this is this is R, but this really tells me that R is equal to 0 0.01. 1 percent. If I take, I want to change a percentage to a decimal number, I simply divide by 100. Recall that 1 percent becomes 1 over 100 which is 0 0.01. Okay, as a decimal number, we need to have this as a decimal number for our formula, for our calculation. Now the question says, how much simple interest will he have earned? So right here, we're looking at I. So this is I, this is the interest, okay? So we have P over here. So this one right here, principal is P. This tells me that R is equal to 0 0.01. And lastly, after five years, we have T. So T equals five. Okay, so I have all my values. So um, I go and I, in, in the formula, so again, the formula is I equals P R T. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go plug in all of those numbers that I just had. So I have P equal to 8,000, R equal to 0 0.01, and T equal to 5. And I plug those into my formula, and then I plug them into my calculator. So I'm going to get I is equal to $8,000 
times 0 0.01 times 5. So let's pull out a calculator and we'll type that in 8,000 times 0 0.01 times 5 and I get 400. So I is equal to 400.